Well, it's the springtime and we love the south, but also the fleas love being down here in this warm weather. And it's not a good thing for your pets. So we've got Dr. Catherine Ferre with us good this morning. morning. Thanks for being with us. You got it. That's All right, so we're for. tackling fleas today. Getting them done. Yeah, so yes. how can we do that? How can we protect our pets? So flowers, spring, we didn't get a lot of freezing weather, so mm -hmm. we're going to have a huge flea issue. We've had a consistent increasing flea and tick population for the past couple of years. No bad, bad, bad weather with the freezing. And so you have to target four spots. Your pet, okay. any pet your pet comes in contact with, so that's the stray cat in the backyard, <laughs> um, your in-house environment, and then your out-house environment. So, so many people will trial a product, mm -hmm. and then they'll come into the vet or call and say, oh, that didn't work. Well, it's not that it didn't work. There's a whole life cycle you have to understand. And in Louisiana, once the, the adult lays an egg, the egg becomes a larva, kind of like a little caterpillar, and then caterpillar wraps itself in a cocoon. That cocoon in Louisiana can live six, nine, twelve 14 months. Whoa. If we were in Arizona, maybe two or three months, it needs drought. It needs really, really dry conditions um, and heat. Okay. And so we don't get a ton of that because we have all this moisture here. So it's really hard to kill. That's a little scary, but a, a thought. Yeah. But how can we target all these four areas? Yeah. So your pet. There's topical preventions you can put on their back. There's oral preventions. Mm -hmm. There's not an injectable at this point. Um, some of these preventions will be lasting three months. If um, Some of them last six months. There's some appropriate collars that are just coming out on the market that we're pleased with. But again, there's still some really great oral and topical medications. Um, your outside environment, you need to talk to your exterminator. Mm -hmm. There are some over-the-counter products. Um, we have some written up on our blog. You have to look for the correct active ingredient in your house. Um, you know, this is kind of really cool. If we were in chairs and here's our carpet and there was a coffee table and you were going to vacuum yeah. or clean or set off one of those bombs or use patterns, they're not going to be where we're walking. They're going to be underneath the chairs, underneath the coffee. They like cool, moist shadows. So you kind of have to rearrange your furniture and really get cleaning. Um, anything detergent based that you can get cleaned. Okay. The dog's bed, throw it in the washing machine. Um, but you really got to target the animals your pet's not even coming into contact with if you're having a flea problem. One of my favorite things to say, let's fight, let's get rid of them, but know that it's not going to be instant gratification. It's going right. to be a two or three month process to get everything under control. So definitely something to keep in mind as we head into the season. And very quickly on Friday, you guys are doing feline Friday because people yeah. are afraid to bring their cats Absolutely. to the vet because they hate it. Yes. Um, so cats don't like to come to the vet. So so many people say, oh, well, then I'm just not going to do it. Right. Well, they hide their disease. They're not going to let you know. And we can do so much on the front end of being very proactive. So on March 31st, Dr. Kaylin Gregorio, we're going to have our first feline only uh, Friday. So no cats. I'm sorry. All Only cats, cats, no dogs, um, are going to be invited to our wellness practice across the street from our main campus. Um, going to have some really neat, cool things, but just focusing on our feline friends. So you can bring in your cat, get them all safe as we head mm -hmm. out.